Holy God, your people have gathered to be with you and to sit and wait to hear your voice speak to us in this season of Lenten wilderness that seems to grow longer and longer. Even as Easter approaches, we have a sense that the wilderness journey will take time. And so just as you have done in the past, be with us, speak to us, lead us, make your presence known to us as we gather this night to cultivate a discipline of silence where your voice can be heard, your whisper, your shout, your tap. And so we do gather together in the silence and in the silence. So we take this time to turn together in prayer. I invite you to speak aloud the names of the people, the situation, the circumstances, where you are seated. We know that God is with us. We know that these are troubling times. We know that God is already at work through doctors and nurses and staff and aides, first responders and scientists and researchers. Lord, come quickly, come quickly. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle the fire that never dies away, never dies away. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so it is that we enter into this time of silence. Some of us have found it helpful to practice the method of contemplative prayer, selecting a word or a phrase that's meaningful and that resonates with our spirits, a place, a word, a phrase that we can return to, a place where we identify with you, O oh God, and so we do claim a word or a phrase so that when our mind begins to wander, we return to a word like love or peace or Jesus, a place where we can come home to you, O oh God, because our minds will begin to wander. In the silence, in the silence, we gather for the next 15 minutes, and we know that you are with us. We are consenting to your love, to your peace, to your mercy, to your grace. O oh Lord, in the silence, in the silence.
mighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful night, a perfect end. Amen, amen. Almighty Lord, grant unto us a peaceful Grant unto 